take this deer at uh, 1,078. And uh, uh, that was 29, 29.6. I'll dial her in 29.5. And uh, about a minute and a half for, for wind and spin drift. Um, nice calm day, so hopefully this will be a doable shot. Good? Yep, we're on it. Above her, right above her. Just above her? How yep. far? Right above her. She's still there? Nope. She ran down to the left. How was the left to right? It was it was good there. So we're gonna take a walk up here. Um, didn't see the the hit when they when they took off. It was I, I didn't see because of recoil the gun, and the deer ran outside the spot and scope. So we didn't didn't see a deer fall over. But uh, we reviewed the footage, and it looked like the hit. We seen it hit the snow behind her, and when she when I shot, she kicked way high with her rear legs, which typically will indicate a heart hit harder lungs so uh, with all that that mahogany brush up there and rocks it's tough to see those deer so we we think it was a center punch but uh, we need to go up and check see if we can't find her we we know exactly where she is got a coordinate on her so we're gonna go up and take a look and see if we did actually make the shot well here we are we did get her we found her kind of thought so from the from the kick uh, double lung Hit her actually about three inches further back where I was aiming. Uh, it was 1,078. Um, good conditions today to take these shots. I had about a, oh, I don't know, about a two mile an hour wind, maybe a little less. Uh, coming from about seven, eight o'clock, I dialed, dialed uh, 1.25 MOA and then dialed in for 1,078. Um, Got a lot of time this year into this setup. Uh, worked up a new load. Spent a lot of time making sure my drop charts were right. Uh, I actually started on it last spring. And uh, uh, once you get everything working right, it's, it's a doable thing. It's it's not easy, but but if you do your homework and have the right equipment, do your practice, take your time. You can do this. Um, the one thing that that uh, I absolutely swear by is the bipod buddy. That there is a double cross small. And uh, with those uh, bipod buddies, um, you literally can hold rock solid. You can hold, you can hold under a, a quarter minute uh, at this distance, uh, no problem if you get, get locked in right. And uh, I wouldn't attempt a shot like this without that. Um, you're just rock solid. Uh, I, I can't say enough about them. Uh, he makes four of the bipod buddies, a, a little buddy which I like to shoot with prone. This one I needed more elevation. I was shooting uphill a little bit so I used a double cross small. Uh, he also makes a, a big buddy and a, a double cross large which works great with the big Harris bipod, the 12 to 25. You can actually sit down and take steady shots out to the five, 600 yard range, pretty doable. Uh, so, but anyway, um, 
pretty happy with this shot. Like I said, it's my longest uh, shot today. To date. Um, I've had a couple other over a thousand, but this is the longest. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, so now we just got to get it out, uh, get her dressed out, and get her down the hill and go home.